Well, I should say that I would say, even though I've lived many other places, I always came back to Niagara Lake, mostly in the summer. So I was always a resident of Niagara Lake. And I was brought up there in the summer. I lived in Buffalo, where I went to school and so on. And um, But I was... Um, during those early years, I lived in Niagara Lake in the summertime. Then I went away to school, but I came back. And I worked in New York, and I eventually came back to Buffalo in 1950, 51, where I started teaching at the University of Buffalo. And, um, and during that period, um, let's see what I was going to say. You know, during that period, my, I and my family became landed immigrants in Niagara Lake. I had five children, they all went to school in Niagara. And after three years of being a landed immigrant, I returned to Buffalo as a full-time resident and became a summer resident in Niagara. And my children went back to school in Buffalo. We lived at the, the big old house, which is now, I don't know who owns it now, I guess. Peterson owns it, on John Street, Randwood, it's still called. The big old house which goes back to the 1800s, it was burned in the War of 1812, then rebuilt by the Dixon family, and my grandfather bought it around 1904 or 5. Uh, many Americans were moving to Niagara Lake as summer residents, because they liked the town, uh, they liked Canada, uh, there was good sailing over there. And then my father was one of those who, along with others, like the Wetlover family, moved, moved there in the summer residence. And in those days, as you may know, that, that um, train used to run from Buffalo to um, uh, Fort Erie down the river and all the way to Niagara Lake. And it was mostly a um, commercial train, picking up fruit along the way and taking it down to the dock in Niagara and then on to Toronto. And there were a lot of boats going across from Niagara Lake to Toronto, and that was an exciting, colorful part of those earlier days in Niagara, which I remember as a boy. And that boat, used to, the Cayuga was the name of the boat. I'm sure you'll have a picture of it in your writing, because it was a very colorful large boat which took cars and everything on it and went to Toronto two, a couple of times a day from Niagara Lake to Lewiston to Queenston and then back to Niagara and then to Toronto. And there were midnight cruises on weekends which was were very colorful and romantic to all of us young kids. Well, we could go to Toronto uh, around 10 or 11 at night and come back at 2 or 3 in the morning. <laughs> And there was music on board. I don't know about dancing, but I remember there was music on board. And it was fun. Yeah, I was a teenager. And I, was, I went to school in Buffalo, Nichols School. So I was uh, very much tied to Buffalo in those days. Antonina Lake is a summer res residence. My family came down to that house, the big old house, which my grandparents lived in as summer residents. My fa parents sort of, sort of lived there, and we sort of lived there, as I say, sort of, uh, as summer residents. And that was great fun, because Niagara Lake in those days was very colorful, lots of fun. I know that's not my period to talk about, but uh, <laughs> I have to mention that. It was a very enjoyable, colorful place. The Army Camp being one, I'll mention the Army Camp. I think they pulled out around the 1950s. Um, yeah, right across the street. So we heard the bagpipe bands and the brass bands playing all all night long sometimes. And that was fun. It was really enjoyable. A lot of a lot of band concerts. And that's one of the things I really remember of the 19 of Niagara Lake in the um, 1930s and 40s when I was a boy into the 50s.